everyone, welcome back to Earl Grey Books. I'm Ellie. I got a Percy Jen here. You can kind of see him. He's being cute. And today I am going to be talking about some of the non fiction books that have been on my TBR for the longest. So I'm sorry if you're not really into non fiction. I know I've been posting a lot about it in the last month and a bit but I've just really been getting into it feeling like reading and talking about nonfiction so that's what we're gonna do um so I've picked four that have been on my TBR for a really long time these aren't necessarily the longest ones because uh if I was to do like the four that had been on there the longest they would are all kind of very similar about the same topic and I wanted a little bit of a wider range. So I pick four that have been on there a really long time and let's talk about them. We'll start with this one which I think might actually be the one that's been on my TBR the longest and that is Citizens by Simon Sharma. This is a book about the French Revolution. I bought this one, I studied uh, history revolutions in VCE, so my final two years of high school, and uh, I bought this one to read as part of that, and then like read little bits of it, but it like I didn't I didn't really need it for the class, so I didn't end up reading all of it, but I would really like to get to it hopefully someday soon. I mean, would it be an Earl Grey Books video without mentioning World War II at some point? This is Ellie, <laughs> um, Coming of Age in the Holocaust by Livia E. Bitten Jackson. I bought this because the name is Ellie and it's spelt differently than usual. It's not spelt the same as mine, but it's close enough. Um, so yes i still haven't read this one i've also it's a little bit kind of like anne frank's diary which is one of my favorite books of all time so that's kind of why i picked it up and then i just haven't got to it it's really small i've actually started seeing this around again uh in like stores and things uh so that's that's nice and hopefully i can get to this uh, soon as well. Next we've got a, a biography. Three of these are biographies slash autobiographies. <laughs> this one is Agatha Christie, Murder in the Making, uh, Stories and Secrets from Her Archive by John Coran. Uh, so yeah, this is a book about Agatha Christie and her books, and yes, it's exciting. It has this really cool end paper that have like a bunch of covers of her books um, throughout the years. It's just really nice. I'm going to be honest, I haven't read this one because I'm worried about getting spoilt. I'm not sure how in-depth they're going to go into her different books so I want to have like like I've already read like a decent amount of Christie books but I want to have most of them under my belt before I read this so it might still be a few years but yeah I just I just really don't want to get spoiled for any of the books um like I said I don't know how in detail they're gonna go how much of it is just going to be on her life so uh, we will see and yes and then the final one I have is <laughs> uh, Falling Leaves by Eline Yen Ma so I read this one uh, that's kind of like a children's version kind of thing which is called uh, Chinese Cinderella I read that one in my first year of high school and I really it was really interesting to me so I think I bought this one when I was about 15 or 16 uh, this is a more in-depth uh, 
version of that. So I am really excited for it. I am hoping by some miracle that I can get to this this month. It is on that really large pile that I've talked about in a few videos and I shared on my Instagram. Here's a picture of it here. It's, it's big in the words of Kat from Stars and Embers. It's not a stack, it's a building. And uh, so this is on there and just hopefully I can get to it this month. And there we are. Those are the non-fiction books that have been on my TBR the longest. Let me know if you have read any of them. I would be really interested in hearing your thoughts on them. So yeah, there they are. And I will see you guys all in a few days time with uh, my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.